there are very few things that I want in life besides, of course, everything. Number one is I just want to travel the world. I just want to get onto a plane and just stop at amazing places every one week. And the other thing I want to do is eat the most yummiest dessert in every new place that I travel. And the best thing I want about that dessert to be is that it's zero calorie. Well, I know it's, we don't live in a utopian world and we have to live in a practical real world. So I'm going to make you something today that is so wonderful that it's going to be on your bucket list. The most comforting, easy to make, yummy things to cook or bake, according to me, are cookies. According to culinary historians, cookies were first made not to eat, but to test the temperature of an oven. Cooks would actually take a small dollop of cake batter and bake it as a means of gauging whether the oven was ready or not. Can you imagine that? So today, I'm going to test my oven with some pistachio and cranberry cookies. Just to check it, not because I'm really interested in any kind of cookies. It dips you up when you are down. Well, this is a really, really easy cookie dough. We're going to start with creaming some butter. This is not a cake batter, so you have to be very careful with it. You do not want to overwork the butter. That's it. To this, we're going to add our sugar. To this, we're going to add some vanilla and we're going to add all our flour. We're not overworking the dough as you see, just enough for it to come together. And now that our butter is nice and soft and pliable, we're going to take this out. So now with this spatula, we're just going to cut into this. To this, we're going to add chopped cranberries and chopped pistachio. Now that this is all nicely mixed, what we need to do is just bring it together. So we're going to take this out on our board. We're going to get this together with some cold water. So the reason you always put cold water into cookie dough or anything, any dough that you are trying to bring together that has butter in it is because your body temperature kind of melts the butter and you do not want that happening. For your cookie to be nice and crumbly, you need to just about get this together without kneading it too much. But we're going to roll this out into a cylinder with the help of cling film. And then again put it in the fridge and keep it for at least an hour so that it does not crumble when you're trying to cut it and make a shape out of it. So here we have it. A beautiful cookie dough filled with pistachios, filled with cranberries, all ready to get into the fridge for at least an hour. So our cookie dough has been resting for an hour, so I'm going to take it out, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to bake it. So here it is, we are going to very carefully unwrap this. So now we're just going to cut this cookie dough into equal pieces, put it in our baking tray. So. This is what the cross section of this cookie looks like. It's filled with pistachio and cranberries and I can just imagine how tasty it's going to be. And now I'm going to bake this at 170 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes till it is all beautifully done. Well, it's nearly time for me to take my cookies, so here goes. You know, the nicest way to get your kitchen, you know, with the most beautiful aromas is if you're going to bake cookies or you're going to bake cakes. This kitchen of mine is just, it's yummy at the moment. I'm so happy with this. You know, guys, the first person who actually made the first chocolate chip cookie was Ruth Wakefield. In 1930, Ruth was baking cookies for her guests at her roadside inn. 
but was out of Baker's chocolate. So she substituted normal chocolate, thinking that this would melt. But to her surprise, it did not melt and was still a huge hit. So from chocolate chip to pistachio cranberry, cookies have come a long way. And of course, now they're gonna travel further a longer way into my tummy. But I've gotta wait for this to cool, so I've gotta have patience. So I'm gonna wait, but try these out. They're outstanding. To make the cookies, we need dried cranberries, sugar, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, butter and pistachios. 